folks. This is the Men in Black demo. This came included with Men in Black 2 on Blu-ray, which I picked up recently. So I thought I'd give it a try here. Ah, this looks like the scene from the end of Men in Black 2, in fact. This when the the uh, evil alien woman turns into a giant man-eating plant. Okay. Well, right off the bat, the controls feel somewhat similar to the... Uh, Ghostbusters game that came out a couple of years ago, only there's no uh, aiming down the sights, there's no sharp aiming, you just shoot. Let's see, so you can cover, you can hit R1 to slide from place to place. Looks like uh, you use the directional buttons to change weapons. And I guess I'm just shooting these yellow things that pop up on its body doing my best to avoid taking damage. Yay. The aiming's not too bad, but the uh, moving around and whatnot feels a little bit loose, and that may just be because you're kind of stuck strafing back and forth. I can't really run past the uh, little uh, stools or whatever these, these are that I'm hiding behind. I guess that's because it's a boss fight. Oh, it just pulled an exorcist on me and spit green soup at me. Let's see here. Those little floating things appear to increase my life, and when I need extra health, all I have to do is aim my reticle towards them, and my life bar fills up. That's uh, kind of noobish, but uh, I guess that's one way to do it. Ah, spit on me again. The graphics aren't that great. This almost feels like a downloadable title, really. It looks last gen, to be honest. This looks like something that would have started on the PS2. It's got some fairly bad horizontal screen tearing as well. Alright, I almost got it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Ah, spare. Alright. Let's give it another go. I've almost got him. Almost got up. Oh, up, oh, she got me again. Hey, hey, wait, wait, hey, 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 hey! Fuck! That worked the first time. Why didn't work that time? The hell? All right. Well, let's just uh, pick things back up and finish her off. What? Oh, for real? What the hell? I gotta start all the fuck over. All right, well let's uh, let's kill this bitch. There doesn't seem to really be any point in using the cover because there's so many health power-ups that uh, I don't even have to bother. Every time I start to get low, I grab one of those things just by aiming at it. And I checked in the demo. I'm not playing it on easy or anything. There's not even a difficulty setting. I imagine this might be an easy plat when it comes out, assuming this isn't a downloadable title. Okay. Come on. Ugh. Shit. Come on. Ah, uh, yes. Seen it already. I imagine with all the tentacles, this game would go over great in Japan. They might find it even erotic over there. Well, I've got a shield now. I think you hit L2 to activate that. There's also a, uh, a uh, additional weapon that you can choose. You can give weapons different abilities, and uh, one of them is a freeze ray, but it doesn't seem to really freeze this thing in place. I tried it and it didn't really do anything, so I'll just stick to the shield. I don't know that it's doing me a whole, whole lot of good. With all the extra health that I'm getting, there's no real need for that. Ah, oh, here we go again. Come on. Hey! What the fuck? It did it to me again! What in God's name? This is some straight bullshit right here. And who the fuck is he? 
Why are we not playing as Will Smith? Could they? Is this game so ch on the cheap that they couldn't even afford to license out Will Smith's persona or whatever his his uh, his whatever his looks, his likeness? I guess they couldn't even shell out for that. Maybe Tommy Lee Jones might be nice. Or is this going to be like uh, Ghostbusters where you're playing like the noob recruit or whatever? I guess we'll find out. Alright. Shoot the giant yellow nipples. Yeah. You know, considering this is supposed to be kind of a female character, it's awful phallic. Tentacle porn! Tentacle porn! Keep blasting away at the yellow thing. Yeah, this is decidedly uh, bereft of fun. I can say that right now. I mean, the mechanics are basically there. It works fairly well. But, you know, not being able to really do any uh, sharp aiming or anything. And just uh, hoping for the best. This, I don't know. It. If, well, <laughs> suffice it to say, uh, this game is going to be more, from what I can tell, of the typical movie-based game as opposed to a good movie-based game like, say, X-Men Origins Wolverine, which is one of my favorite examples of a good movie game because it's an example of where the game is actually better than the fucking movie it's based on. But, up oh, here we go again. Alright, shoot, 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 shoot. What the fuck? I ah, ate me again! Alright, I'm stopping this and coming back. I'll start back up when I kill it. Alright, I killed it. It's dead. Took me long enough, but I finally figured out you can't shoot it right in the mouth. You gotta shoot the petals that are around its mouth. Alright, it's dead. Let's see what's next. Okay, oh, new agency record. Wonderful. Okay. That's it? I get one little lame-ass boss fight, and that's all there is to the demo. Man, they don't have a whole lot of faith in this, do they? Well, folks, I think it can safely be said that this is one that most of us will be skipping. Maybe this will be a good bargain bin title down the road. I mean, here it is. It's May when it's supposed to have come out. I haven't seen it in the stores yet. Skip this one, guys. This sucks.